if the major automotive groups in the sector used renewable energy and biodegradable materials to make their cars, the world would probably be better, but if vehicles could be recycled in a greater proportion, perhaps their impact on the environment could be further minimized. Environment and Society as a Whole Some students of the University of Technology of Eindhoven, in the countries have developed a prototype of electric vehicle practically biodegradable in its entirety that have been baptized with the name of Lina. This vehicle, with capacity for four occupants, has a chassis, external structure and other parts that are designed to be biodegradable in order to facilitate recycling at the end of the vehicle's useful life. The structure that gives life to Lina is composed of two sheets of composite biomaterial created with linseed derivatives in which there is a nucleus with a honeycomb structure that has been manufactured with polylactic acid. That is, a bioplastic made with sugar beet. This material is very resistant and lightweight, because it allows the weight of the entire structure of Lina to be only 310 kilos. To obtain the raw materials necessary to manufacture a Lina unit, it would only be necessary to have a plantation of only 300 square meters of land. These plants would absorb a large amount of carbon dioxide during their growth. Although Lina's development is very good for the automotive industry, there is a problem that has not been overcome. The natural composite material is very rigid and lightweight, but it is not as flexible as others like metal or carbon fiber, so it cannot pass the impact test because it breaks into a thousand pieces.